everyone this is Melissa back again with um, a little share for you this is a little project that I've been working on for a little while and I'm trying to get it finished so that I can send it off this is a little or these are a pair of little flip books that I um, got the inspiration from from pink strawberries YouTube channel she does some really lovely stuff and they're super cute and I thought oh I had these paper left, minte paper left, and not a lot of it from a 6x6 paper pad, and I thought, oh, what can I do to finish this paper pad off? So I thought, so I had a look at a lot of different ideas, because I wanted to make a little mini album, but I didn't have enough paper, so I thought, this came up on my feed, pink strawberries came up on my feed, and... I followed her instructions and it was just awesome because it was so easy to follow and I had the perfect amount of paper to use all my paper and it was really it turned out really cute I'm really happy with it so I made two of them to finish up my paper and I wanted them this pretty much the same so that I could mail them to my sisters who live interstate from me and what it was for their birthdays but I'm always behind <laughs> so um, I'm trying to get these finished so that I can send them in the mail to to my sisters um, so this um, these flip books were made from pink strawberries um, YouTube channel and the name of the tutorial is called mini album junk journal tutorial six by six papers and it was so easy to follow and then I just adjusted it a little bit just to suit myself and I was going to just put in like a little letter and stuff like that but then I got to thinking hmm what else can I do with it and I thought maybe I could send some flat items in it and try not to make it too bulky try and keep it a little bit um, flat so that it wasn't going to bust it out so what I came up with was to put in some little facials. I'll just help. So I'll open it up. So at the front here, I've got a little, she made a little um, pocket here. So a little belly band. And I just made mine out of some burlap um, lace, which is, it expands. So it gives, and it still moves around. So you can pop something under there and then I've got a little envelope here which um, I'm going to pop a little personal something in there for my sisters now I need to finish this I need to get this done so I want to put some cotton so I found some crochet cotton because I want something quite fine to go around around this little latch here because I don't know how much I need I have no idea so let's just have a little play and try and get this finished so I can send it off in the mail. Or maybe I should tie it around there. That might make more sense. Oh, it holds it pretty firmly. So I followed her instructions for the little money envelope. It was very easy to follow. Super easy. She does such a wonderful job. She makes it all step by step. And I'm just going to wrap that around just a little bit, not too much, because it's not going to go anywhere. Maybe I need to make that a little bit tighter. Oh, maybe I'll just go up. Lift it up a little bit with my finger. Oh, that might be better. Holds pretty firmly. So it's just a little bit, dec a little bit of decoration to keep it closed. There we go. I'm just going to snip that doesn't have to be anything too fancy schmancy uh, right about there just gonna pop it under there maybe I might snip I might make another little knot for that actually and then snip that end off so they know which one to grab it might be the smart thing to do so I'll just tie this off try and keep my head out of the way of the camera Nice and firm, and then I'm just going to snip that short end off. 
there. It doesn't matter which way, whether you zigzag around or just as long as it sits closed. You can go around like figure eight if you like. Oh yeah, that sits nicely. I'm happy with that. There we go. That'll do so. I'm going to put a little something personal in there. Now what other things I have put in here is I have made a little little note card which I'm going to write on. So I'm just going to write a little message of happy birthday or happy belated birthday um, and pop that in there. One for each of my sisters. I'm just going to pop that underneath. Try to keep everything relatively flat and not too bulky because um, I've got to mail it and it costs a fortune to mail things so because Australia is so big it's got to go so far so it does cost a bit so I just um, tuck that in there we made little she made little um, tuck spots let's see if I can get a little something to show you so you can tuck a little something under there and on this side and that's where I decided to put my note card and then you can put a little something personal in the little money envelope there. A little tuck spot there under the belly band. I'm not sure what I'm going to put in there yet. There's a little vellum um, pocket there. There's a little bit of thread come off the, off of the cloth. So I've just put little embellishments. Just used up what embellishments I had. Which were all fussy cut. Because Minte don't do... Um, ephemera as such well very little so most of it you fussy cut yourself and then this page here was just a flat page so I have bought um, just um, a sheet mask for her for a little pamper and I've attached it with a couple of hair clips and they're not too bulky they are a little bit bulky but I hold it on quite well so it does start to get a little bit bulky. You've got to be careful what you put in. So on the back here, I'm going to put another little a peel off mask. Can you pop that one in there, I think. That will sit nicely in there. I wasn't sure where I was putting things, so I started to fold it. So it doesn't look that great, but it still work. So that's in there. That one's there. I might put a little... A little gift card for my sister as well for her birthday. Just pop that one in there, a little tuck spot. Slide that one in there. Maybe it will fit, maybe it won't. Let's see. Just gotta make sure I oh there we go, get it in the right spot, slide that in. So that's a little little gift that one there not sure what I'm going to put in there yet I want to put a um, a little hot chocolate um, and maybe a little chocolate in I might swap it out with that one there and put that one in there put a little chocolate in there hopefully in winter time here in Australia so it shouldn't melt I might just pop that in there that's nice and flat Put a little chocolate in there and a hot chocolate sachet there. And there's a little, and the back is just plain. I just left that nice and plain. But still very beautiful papers. It's really pretty. So that's what I wanted to finish off. So I'm going to do the same thing for this one here because I want them the same. I just want to make sure everything's stuck down as well. The little flowers, because it's got to go in the post so it will get bashed around a little bit. So I just want to make sure that it's going to stay. Here's some more cotton. So we'll just tie that on there again. I like how that was. I really enjoyed making these. They were really easy. It's just using 6x6 six six papers. And I mean you could adjust it to even use a larger size 8x8 any size you really want really 
And also I was thinking maybe what I should have done in hindsight is I could have made some gussets here to accommodate the bulkier items. But I was just following her instructions and I was just having a play because I haven't made that many mini albums or that. So I thought, okay, I'll just follow along. And it all, you just do, I think it's a half inch um, fold and that's where your next page um, attaches to for each one. So that one attaches on the other one. And then you do a half inch fold and it just, scores and folds on there and it just makes your little book and it's so cute and the Mente papers are really good quality so they it worked out really well and it's lovely and solid and sturdy which is what I really needed for postage so it's really good so I'm just going to attach this under here like I did the other one lift that up a little bit so we can get under there with my fingernail there we go that will do. I'll give that a little snip. So in this one as well, I have um, a little slip spot here. This is for my big sister, for my little sister. So I'm just going to pop that in there as well. I have a little note card in there. So they're basically the same. I'm going to put a little chocolate in there. And then on here, I want to attach... mask and I should have some clips I just went to the supermarket and had a look at some flat mask there was such a big variety and I actually probably could have got one a little bit smaller but I liked the natural look of this I thought it went well with the papers which I was trying to keep a little bit in mind that it wasn't like bright purple or something like that packaging so I'm just going to attach this onto here with the clips just to hold it in place there we go it's almost too big but oh well go big or go home hey there we go so I'll just attach that there and that holds it very securely and that way they can use both that and that I did buy some I thought for use with the mask a hair band as well like a, a band to hold your hair back but it might be a bit bulky maybe I'll wrap it around the outside I'm not too sure and I could only get that in black so have a look at that in a moment here is the chocolates that I'm thinking to send so I might pop that in there these are little chocolates we get in Australia but I might have to doubly check they fit because this is a little bit stuck there we go. That will do. It's a little bit bulky, but that's okay. Nearly finished. Pop these ones in here. So I just want to go through and make sure it's all going to stay. I did this one on the side, this envelope. This little sheet of vellum. I should have uh, done some, um, a border punch along there to make it look a little bit more pretty, but that's okay. Never mind, that's okay. I think I'm, oh no, that's okay. Staying there, staying put. Sometimes it's hard to get a really good glue that will stay in our humidity here in Queensland and not fall apart after a little while. And that's another reason why sometimes I keep them in my stash for a little while just to make sure everything sticks and is staying together because humidity here in Queensland can it, it ruins it after a little while so I have to sometimes if I change glues I do tend to um, give it a little trial run and keep a couple of items and see how they fare so there we go I'm pretty sure that's just about it I'll write in my note card and I'll have to find my hot chocolate sachets to pop under there so it is going to be pretty bulky but that's okay it's not too bad I wonder if I can wrap this around to give a little bit of protection possibly could give a little bit of protection I 
I might do that when I post it, just pop that in there. Or even, I think it's a little bit big, it's a little bit bulky. Thinking maybe around the outside. Maybe I might put it under the clips there because there's a little bit of room to put some something there. So I might put it under the clips because there's a bit of space there as you can see. So I might put it under the clips there. That will be good. And then I'll post that off. So yeah, as I said, I did take this from um, Pink Strawberries channel. And I copied her tutorial. That was the mini al album junk journal in 6x6 six six paper. And it was so cool. So nice. I'm really happy how it turned out. Now I've got to go and post it. So that's all I've got today. It's just a project that I wanted to get finished. I'm pretty happy with all the embellishments. Just wanted to add all my last little pieces and get it sent off. And then each week I have got a few projects that I need to finish. So I'll, each week I'll probably have another project that I will get finished. Maybe every by every Friday, hopefully. Maybe finish it Friday. Finish it by Friday. <laughs> that would be nice. Okay, so that's all i got today and I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye. Oh yeah, that's alright. Where's my...